Whiskey Cast. Brought to you by Redbreast. The definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Those in the know, know Redbreast. I've roamed and rambled, and I've followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. It's been six years since our first visit to Taiwan's King Car Distillery, where they make Cavalan single malt whiskey, and there have been a lot of changes since then. So now we can see that uh, after, after shaving, we can have a very nice and clean new surface. Like a new cooperage for shaving, toasting, and recharring wine barrels. But that's not why Cavalan is becoming one of the hottest brands in single malt whiskey right now. The biggest change of all is a complete second steel house that opened at the end of 2016, bringing King Car's annual production capacity to 9 million liters of spirit annually. That would make King Car the ninth largest malt whiskey distillery in the world just 10 years after it opened. In order to to be a global brand, uh, it is very important to produce a, a single malt that is very consistent in terms of quality because we don't want people to, to taste a very good Kavlan but then the next batch might be not, not that good and so on. Because uh, like uh, all these uh, Scotch brands, you know, when they have a, a, a long history, uh, quality, quality is also very important and that is uh, the, the goal of our first, first 10 years. Master blender Ian Chang is leading his team into the future with a heavy heart, though. Earlier this year, his mentor and friend, longtime industry consultant Dr. Jim Swan, died suddenly at the age of 75. Jim worked with distillers around the world, but Cavalan was one of his pet projects. You can't make, you can't make that in Scotland. It's not possible. We were actually going to work for another 10 years together to see Kavalan expand, you know, expand into a global, two global brands. But sadly, that, you know, that's, that's not going to happen. But with his, um, with his, how do you say that, with his legacy and also with what he have, had taught us, I'm sure that um, we still have a long way to go into the future. But uh, I think the future should be quite bright for Kavalan. Let's talk about Jim, Jim. because he was not only the consultant mm -hmm. to King Car and Cavalan, he was your mentor, wasn't that's he? That's right, that's right. He was uh, like a, a teacher and also I was, I'm very fortunate to, to be able to call him a very good friend as well. So he's the person who really, uh, as, as, as you know, they always say that he's been instrumental and also very, um, very important to, uh, to Kavlan single malt whiskey because with him, with his guidance and also with his uh, knowledge, we are able to produce quality whiskey in a very short time because uh, we, we, we can you know, skip all these unnecessary experiments and uh, go you know, straight into the, uh, in the right, on, 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 on the right track. But I'm talking about you personally mm -hmm. yes. as a blender mm -hmm. and as a distiller. Mm -hmm. He was your mentor. That's right. And your right. teacher. That's right. He, uh, he this had to have been hard for you to lose him. That's right. Very hard for me because uh, the day when I heard the, the, the sad news, I was actually in, in, in Japan doing uh, a tour of, uh, of um, master classes. And my Ooh. assistant, Yvonne, he, uh, she, she called me uh, on the uh, 15th of February which was the day after uh, Jim passed away. I was very shocked. I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, I thought it was um, a, a mistake. I mean, you know, a, a rumor only. So I quickly called his cell phone and there was no answer. 
then I, I, I knew that something was uh, very wrong. So I, we, we canceled the trip in Japan and I came back straight away. And uh, Mr. Lee, both uh, senior and junior, uh, they were also very sad because Jim to me and also to Mr. Lee family uh, is a very close friend. Not only a, a mentor, but also someone who, who, has, who had influenced me in both, um, uh, not, not just whiskey, you know, whiskey knowledge, but also how we, um, how we, um, how do you say that, how we... How you present the whiskey. That's how right, how we present it, so. the whiskey and also how we have come so far and also made so many friends within the industry. Because Jim, as you know, he's a very, um, a, a very well-known character in, in the whole whis whiskey industry globally. So he, uh, the fact that we don't have Jim with us anymore is, is really hard, especially uh, me personally as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who do you call on now when you have questions? Who do you go to? Uh, or do you have anybody that you can go to? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think we're very lucky that for the past 12 years, he, he had taught us a lot on you know, how to produce whiskey consistently and so on. So I, these days, when I, whenever I have uh, encountered a, a problem, I try to solve it myself. But if not, um, he, he has uh, gave me uh, his, uh, how do you say that? Um, his notebook? His notebooks, so that uh, sometimes I, I go through it to see if there, there's anything that I can find as a solution to our uh, production problems. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and so far, uh, we, we, we managed to do that mm -hmm. very, uh, very well. Mm -hmm. He taught you well, didn't he? Yes, yes. He, uh, he really is a very, very good mentor. We, always, we have a saying in, in, in Taiwan that um, once, once a mentor is always like a, a father figure to you know to to, to, to you. So, with his um, with his guidance and also with his knowledge and, and philosophy, we, we learn a lot. And sometimes he, he, he is the inspiration of uh, of innovation and so on. So, a very important person. Ian Chang has picked out barrels for a special bottling to honor his mentor and his friend, he's just waiting for the Lee family to give him the green light. Of course, the folks at Cavalan are not the only ones mourning the loss of Dr. Jim Swan. He was a mentor and friend and consultant to distillers all over the world. After his passing, many of them made the trip to the UK for his memorial service. At that service, they all signed a photo of Jim that was to hang inside a bottle in the rafters of Lindora's Abbey Distillery in what was a traditional Scottish topping out ceremony for a new distillery. Instead, Drew Mackenzie Smith, the founder of Lindora's Abbey and one of Jim's last clients, made the decision to have that photo framed. It's hanging in the distillery now as a lasting reminder to all who passed through there of the legacy of Dr. Jim Swan. For more cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Taipei, Taiwan, I'm Mark Gillespie.